Hey y'all. I'm sitting out on her patio today because it's so sunny and pretty. Oh, I love this. Anyway, um, we've had so much cold weather lately. I know it's not much compared to what most of you get, but um, we're not used to that. So I got a little bit of sun today, so I thought I'd come out here and do the intro for my fried pie video that I did last night. I come from Arkansas, a little town called 56, Arkansas. Uh, yes, the number, 56, but we do spell it out. <laughs> and it's close to um, Mountain View, Arkansas. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of these areas or not, but it's up in Ozark Mountains. I have two sisters. I'm the youngest, so, but we had we had such a good mama and daddy. And uh, of course they're not with us anymore. But our mama, she was the best cook. I guess we thought everybody cooked like her, but they don't. So uh, she, she always made a lot of special things like uh, donuts or homemade rolls, fried pies, pies, any kind of pie you could ever want. She always uh, excelled at it, you know. She uh, worked in restaurants a lot, so she worked really hard. These fried pies I'm about to show you, I learned from my mom, as did my other two sisters. And uh, she made all kinds of fried pies. She kept the pie crust ready to go in the refrigerator, and she would pinch off some of that dough and roll us out of, roll out the the pie crust and put her filling in there and fry one up for us for lunch or something. And she just, she, that she just did that. But these pies that I'm about to show you that I made last night, they are very special to us. And, uh, I've never had anyone else's fried pies that quite like them. Um, but I guess a lot of people around from where we come made them a lot like this. And, um, like my Aunt Opal, she always, you know, she knew how to make them. My grandma, um, they all knew how to make these pies. And I know my Aunt Opal's, uh, children, grandchildren, they all make them. So, um, they know how, <laughs> but it's, it's just, you know, it's easy. We always used I th she didn't always use, but I do when I make them, I use dried fruit because I just think the dried fruit works really well for these pies. Um, and especially the peach, which is what I'm going to make. You can do apple, you can do cherry, you can do whatever, whatever you want. You can do chocolate or, um, and I haven't ever done chocolate, but I think I might try that. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and I want to dedicate it to my mother. Her name was Mildred. And she was a very special lady, a very special cook. She had a talent for the kitchen. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this video. And I'll put the recipe uh, in the uh, comments below. Okay, I'm going to use dried peaches to make my fried pies with. And we went to the grocery store and there wasn't any dried peaches. Um, I don't think they even had any dried apples. Um, but I ordered these online from the Nut Stop. Um, and these come in one pound bags. And I don't think I used even half a bag I put in here. Then I added some water, just kind of cover them so they'll rehydrate. And just let them sit a little while and then we'll come back turn the fire on and let them cook down add some uh, sugar maybe a little butter and vanilla and then they'll be ready for the fried pies okay i'm going to go ahead and turn my fire on i'm not really sure how much sugar i'll need to add in here um I'll probably just add a little at a time and then, um, you know, 
taste it as I go. That's the best way to do it. Depends on how many, you know, peaches you have uh, in your pot. Um, so I don't know. But we're going to let them cook a little while and then we'll come back and start adding something. Okay, so I'm back, and um, you can see how those peaches are starting to plump up. Look at that. I bought, you know, from the nut shop before. Oh, I'm fogging up. <laughs> and uh, their dried peaches has always been really good. But, and I even, I cut all these, you know, because they're, some of them are, are like whole. I think they're all probably dried whole. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and add a little sugar in here. We're going to cook them down. I mean, they're, you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not really measuring. I'm just going to put a little in there at a time. And then I'm gonna let them cook a little while, and then I'll taste them. And it's gonna take a lot more sugar, probably, than that, for sure. I'm fogging up again. Just stir that up, and you probably um, before we're done, we're gonna probably add a pinch of salt just to keep, you know, keep them from getting flat. You know, need a little bit, just a teeny pinch of salt. And that'll probably be enough. And I'm going to do that more towards the end. Though. But we're going to let it cook a little longer and we'll be back. Now I'm going to just kind of taste the liquid with a spoon here. Mm. That's good. Add some more sugar. Because we are making pies. Pies are sweet. So, about that. Trying to video and stir and add at the same time. So they're getting close. So I'm just going to add just a little dash here of salt. They they still need to cook down quite a bit though because you want them pretty thick before you add them into your fried pies because. Um, You don't, they'll just run everywhere if you don't. So you need it to be pretty thick. And, um, but you can see them thick enough. So we're gonna cover them back up. Just crack the lid a little bit. Let them cook a little longer. And uh, while they're cooking, we're gonna make our pie crust. Okay, I've um, got my mixing bowl out and added two cups of all-purpose flour. This is the crust recipe. So two cups of all-purpose flour, teaspoon of salt. Um, you know, you can use like your, your normal, I guess, pie crust recipe. I'm not sure what kind of crust you have, but what it is is a pie crust that's not quite as short, meaning you don't put as quite as much shortening in it or butter or whatever you use as your fat, um, because you want the crust to hold together a little better for the pie. I'm just going to use my hands and bowl and everything. So that's a little, that's a fourth a cup, maybe a heaping one-fourth cup of shortening that I'm adding in here. And then I'm just going to stir this up and get it into pea-sized pieces. Okay, I'm back with my water. As you can see, I've just put a cup of water in here with some ice cubes in it. So I'm going to start out with one, uh, let's go to three, and then we'll stop and we'll kind of pull this together. Okay, so 
Okay, we're gonna <clears throat> pat, that was three, so we're gonna put four. And I can tell you, just from experience, it's probably gonna take it about six tablespoons, usually. So I'm gonna see how it's pulling together now. Um, but we still have a lot of loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle. Oops, I got a piece of ice in there. Let me just dump that back out. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I might need to drizzle just a little bit more in there. I might have got a little overzealous with my flour when I was adding it. Okay, so it's it's pulled together now. Something smells good in here. Oh, that's the peaches you're smelling. Smells They're really smelling good. really good, aren't they? Yeah. Mm, so. I've cleaned my cabinet off really good except for my mess I just made. <clears throat> and I'm going to put this out on the counter. I'm going to get a little flour to bring it all together here in a minute so we can roll it out. But you see how it's all holding together right there. So since we're making fried pies, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to cut it in half, and then cut each one of those in half. Do you have enough white? I do. And this is going to be a little too much. I think my ends were a little more than my this will probably make maybe six or seven, I don't know, pies. Let me turn this back on. I think I turned it off. Shoot, I can't remember. I'm getting flour all over my finger. Uh, okay. <laughs> so you just start kind of rolling your little pies out. You know, one by one. Um, and, you know, you make them any size you want. My mama always cut hers out with a saucer. And she'd get them all the exact same size. So, I could possibly have a peach pie pretty soon? Oh, uh, you possibly could. Yes. Pretty soon. Anyway, you just keep rolling them out. I'm gonna 
take a little of that water and dab right there because it's not getting perfectly round. <laughs> my camera's in my way. <clears throat> saucer handy but I've got this bowl out and I think this is going to work just fine and I think that's about the right size you just peel that away and then you'll what you'll do is you will well uh oh you'll mess it up if you mess it up if you pick it up wrong <laughs> So I've got that rolled out and cut out. <clears throat> so what you'll do is you'll take about a tablespoon of peaches when they're done, put it in there, and then you'll put water around the edge, fold it over, and then press it down. Take a fork, crimp the edges, or however you want to do it, and then poke your fork on top. You know, I usually do like three little you know, holes with my fork prongs. It makes about six holes, I guess, or eight, I don't know. And then that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna roll the rest of these out. Okay, we're back again. Now I'm gonna just kind of taste the liquid with a spoon here. Mm. That's good. Add some more sugar. Because we are making pies. Pies are sweet. So, sorry about that. I'm trying to video and stir and add at the same time. Okay, so they're almost. Peaches are ready. I tasted them and they're just perfect. So what I'm gonna do now, add probably about a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna put a little vanilla in there. I found it gives your peaches really good flavor. You can leave that out if you don't want to or anything you wanna to um, flavor your peaches with. They're gonna be your pies. Just do it how you want. Okay. So I'm ready. I'm going to let them cool a little bit. Let me take you over here. And uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I ended up with seven pies. Seven pies. So as soon as those peaches cool down, I'll come back and put one together for you. And we'll fry one up. Okay, we've let our peaches cool down a little. I mean, they're still they're still pretty warm, so I'm going to start filling my pies. You don't want to get too much filling in there because they will run over. Maybe just a teeny bit more. Okay, now I've got my water right here still, so I'm going to wet the edges with the water. Turn the pie over and start crimping it in, working the air out. And get the fork. <laughs> and you just start crimping the edge around like so. And then you just do like three little clips. And there's your pie that you're going to fry. So let's get, let's get another one ready here. Or I'll get a couple more ready and then I'll come back and fry them for you. I 
got my plate ready. I, I stuck another one in there with them. And just wait. I didn't have my heat up quite high enough. It should have been a little bit hotter before I put them in there. Make sure you got a good little sizzle. But, you know, it's, you don't want to burn them. So, it's one of those things you want to be careful with. And, like, I have four there. Three more made out over here. Like, this one right here is going to be my last one. Because you see how it's kind of opened up right there? That one's probably going to mess up my grease. <laughs> so, we're going to cook that one last. Um, I could probably take a little bit of this and uh, put some water there and patch it. It might help it, but and I might do that, but we'll just see. We're going to get these done first. <clears throat> I don't know if I can do this holding a camera. Oh, I did. Okay. Not quite brown enough on one side there. We'll turn that one back over in a minute after it's done on that side. And I'm going to let these others cook a little longer. I'm going to try to set my camera up so I don't have to hold it. Okay, we've got them all fried up, and we, we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we still have this many peaches left, so you could probably get, <clears throat> I would say, eight to ten more pies out of that, but we're going to put these, probably, I might freeze them, and just pull them out another day when I feel like cooking some and make me up some uh, some more crust and then have at it for I'm up. But um, I know it's a lot of trouble to make your own crust. You can buy ready-made crust in the store if you want. Um, and you might make smaller ones so you get more out of it so you don't have a lot of mess uh, cutting them out. I don't know. But um, whatever you can you can do that if you want but i just like these best i like doing my own crust but anyway i hope you like this video and um if you try these i hope you really enjoy them because they're really good and uh be sure if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button and um ring that notification bell too so you get notifications when we put out a new video Thanks for watching, everybody. These are my mama's homemade fried pies. You know okay. Go ahead. We got it. Is this it? Yeah, Amy. Oh, okay. gosh. They're still warm. I know. Be careful. Don't burn yourself. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Mm. Are they sweet enough? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that's so good. All righty. <laughs> oh good mm. well y'all thank you for watching and if you haven't yet mm, man. please subscribe and hit that notification bell
The dogs are going crazy. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh no, you can't give a dog that. Oh well. <laughs> mm, man. Bye, y'all. It's really good, baby.